friends. Well, I want to share this interesting book with you. It's called Dr. Goat. Now, one of the reasons why I love this book so much is it um, has great rhymes and really cute illustrations. So let's take a look at it. And look, look at how Goat um, has his medical bag on his bicycle and he um, is dressed like a human, right? Isn't that kind of cute? So Dr. Goat, I hope you enjoy it. Nice pen sheets here. Dr. Goat, the title page. It's written by Georgiana and it's illustrated by Charles Clement. This is a medical bag, right? That's Doc and DG, Dr. Goat. Dr. Goat put on his coat and went out to make some calls. So we already have a rhyme, you can see. Goat, k coat. He went to the house of a mouse with mumps. Oh no, mumps, house, mouse are the rhyming parts. He cured a frog who had the jumps, mumps, jumps. Boy, I guess if you have a frog that has the jumps, you have to tie down their, their toes. He fixed a fox who suffered from measles. He did the same for two small weasels. Busy old Dr. Goat. Then he warmed a worm whose tail was cold. felt the pulse of an elk who was old. Pink pills for an owl with fuzz on his tongue. Blue pills for a bat who was very high strung. Wonderful Dr. Goat. Isn't this a clever and unusual book? He helped a beetle who had the croup. He cured a chicken who couldn't eat soup. He gave a walrus a mustard plaster. and saved a turtle from a great disaster. <laughs> Hooray for Dr. Goat. Early one day in the month of May, the doctor got out of bed. He felt his throat and then his head. Oh, I think I'm ill, the doctor said. I must find a pill to fix my throat. Achoo! Achoo! Oh, what I'll, what will I do? I gave my last pill to Grandmother Goat. Poor sick old Dr. Goat got into bed with a cloth on his head and another around his throat. For a whole long day in the month of May, he slept, did Dr. Goat, his bag on the floor, on the wall, his coat. While he slept, his friends came in. They swept the floor neat as a pen. There's the weasel. 
they fixed the fire. They brought some food, then fondly brushed the, sh the shabby coat of tired old Dr. Goat. And the very next day, he was on his way. Three cheers for Dr. Goat. And everything is all right now. Hmm. Can you think of some of the things the animals did for Dr. Goat when he was sick? Can you describe that to a partner at home? Boy, I wish they would make more books like these nowadays. I really love this book. Great rhyme, great illustrations. I'm just not sure how old this book is, but it is a treasure. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. You can talk it over with your chat partner at home. And I'm going to go off and try to find more uh, wonderful books like Dr. Goat. Thank you.